Hey guys, Jacob from Snowball Apps here, and I'm going to show you guys how to install the iPhone OS 4 beta on your iPod Touch. Now, just give me a second because i got to plug in my iPod Touch into the computer. Now, I'm currently running the 4.0 beta, and this is only for developers, by the way, and or the 4.0 beta 1, I mean. Um, now, there's the iPhone OS 4.0 beta... Uh, iPhone SDK beta, I do not have that though. And I probably and once the iTunes open up and we will go down. So first thing you gotta do is you gotta know which model you have. If you have the three G S, three G iPod Touch third generation and iPod Touch second generation. And you'll need to you'll need to download the uh, firmware for whatever iPod it is you have. And I have the second generation so I downloaded that and uh it took about a half hour or so to download, and then you got this. And then you want to open up this, and it's going to, you're going to say skip the verifying part because we know all the contents of the disk are there um, because it's from Apple. So you can just X out of this now. And you want to go to your iPod, and you want to option click or store, I believe. Yep. And then you want to click on iPhone OS and this one. Whatever it is that's inside of that uh, disk thingy, and iTunes will erase and restore your iPod to iPhone uh, 4.0 software, and will verify the restore with Apple. Hit restore, and this is only—it's not going to work if you do not have if you're not an iPhone developer. Um, you have to have all the stuff on your computer, I believe, and then. You should be good to go, like a CFX code and all that stuff. And to be an iPhone developer, you have to be a paid one, by the way. And, um, I don't know if there's actually any updates with this. I know there's no backgrounds yet, and no actual multitasking on the regular 4.0. And I'm on iPod now, it's showing the I Connect to iTunes. And it's booting up. So I can, I'll just pause this until it does something new. Okay, now it's actually doing the restore. Well, not right now, but in a second. It's got that bar going across it. And I'll actually open up Photo Booth. Because I didn't think about it when I uh, recorded this video that I was going to want to show the iPod. iPod. And there it is. Um. That's what it's doing right now. It says restoring the iPod software, but it still is not doing anything right here. Um, okay, now it's starting to go. <laughs> I don't know how long it's, this will be, but I'm going to pause it until it's done, and you guys can see it's starting to go on here too. Okay, so now it's almost halfway done on the iPod and more than halfway done, about 75% of the way done on the computer. Now, this is, hasn't been taking long, maybe a minute or so. I've just been sitting here watching it. Okay, now this one's coming to an end. Um, we'll just watch that, and this is about halfway. A little bit over halfway now. Okay, now it's verifying the iPod software, and it's going. It's going to go from here to all the way over now. And this shouldn't take very long. This has to verify with Apple that it is legit software, and that I am actually an iPhone developer, which I am, and this is actually used for development purposes, which it is, and for personal use. But um, yeah, about seventy-five percent of the way down on the iPod here. And pretty much already done from both of them. It's done on the i. It's not done on iTunes, I believe. No, it's not done. And next, I believe it has to sync all my stuff. So okay, it's pretty much done. And it is very, very close to being done on the iPod.
that's restoring iPod firmware. Uh, this is gonna it's gonna take a while. I'm gonna pause it actually real quick. You guys, I'm back. It's done. It took about like a second. Um, I'm actually like sick, so I decided to cough right there. But I don't want to cough on camera. And if I do it all during this video, I'm sorry. So now it is starting back up on iTunes. It is saying your iPod has been restored to factory settings. And it's disconnected my iPod now, and now my iPod is still booting up. Oh, it's my finger. It almost appears as my fingers like see through this pretty funny. Uh, whatever. It's starting to uh, it has to do not only these loading things again. Oh, it's going real fast though. And it still hasn't gotten connected to iTunes yet. My phone is ringing by the way, if you guys hear that, I am sorry. The Apple thing now. Still not connected to iTunes. Oh, now it's connected to iTunes. And it says connect to iTunes. <sighs> now it's probably just going to sync up all my stuff right now. Oh, it's done. No, it's not. It still is connected to iTunes. Alright, so I'll just pause it for one second. Okay, so now. On my iPod, I can just log in, and there we go. It's got Game Center and all that. If you go into settings, let's see if it's got any new features. Ooh, sorry. I'm not doing the camera thing here. But now it's got, oh, that's, no, okay, now it's got a new sounds thing here. That is new. Turn off keyboards clicks. Um. Still doesn't have backgrounds. One second. Okay, guys. So I started to sync it. It's almost done, and um, there's pretty much nothing new except for the sounds now added to the uh, whatever it's called, the settings now in that spot. And it's restarting my iPod. Um, don't know why, but it is. I'll come back when it's done. Don't want to waste up too much of your time. Okay, guys, it's now connected to iTunes. Um, iTunes is kind of frozen, so yeah. Okay, guys, it still says it's on software version. Oh, I just stopped the sync. Oops. Um, whatever. Um, but it still says it's on software version 4.2. Or 4.0. Oh, yeah. 4.0. Um, not 4.2 like I thought it would say, but... They also moved around my stuff the way I like it on my home screen, but now I'm going to sync it. So I'll come back in a little bit and I'd like to see if this app I have is still crashing. Oh yeah, I didn't make this quick, um, but it is done. Now, I'm going to go into Echophon. It's an app that normally quits uh, after about two seconds. So let me just open up this. I'm going to see if they have this error fixed yet. Yeah. Okay, so it's opened. It's loading, and we switch. It works! They fixed some of the glitches. That's good. Uh, if I can click on the right thing. Oh, it just crashed. Never mind that. They didn't fix much. If they fixed anything. So, um, Apple, I don't know what you did besides do the setting, or the sound thing in settings. Was it worth releasing it? I'm not really sure. It doesn't appear like you guys have done anything. Maybe you guys added backgrounds and stuff and wall and multitasking to the third generation and 3GS. I'm not sure. I'm um, sorry about that. My Twitter open. Uh, but who knows? I'll see you guys later. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Bye.